Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Inktober or journal page to share with you. You might know that I'm playing in the Inktober challenge with a abstract or journal collage theme. Well, the last pages I've done turned out to be not so much collage but more abstract and in a more painterly way, I would say. Today I'm playing with watercolors and I just paint some loose squares and have a look what the paint does and how they interact with each other. The first square I've painted was made with one of the Supervision watercolors. These are layered granulating watercolors that have some really nice effects. And I've already made a review video on these and I will link this up in the end cards. The blue I've used on the top right is Cobalt Turquoise and I think it must be the one from Rosa Gallery and the third square is a mixture of olive green and the Cobalt Turquoise. And here I'm going in with one of the core colors which is a high flow watercolor and it usually bleeds into the other paints more than most other watercolors do. The brush I'm using is from the Gastica Cat Salon series and I really love these brushes for watercolors. They are synthetic and um, take a lot of water. This um, peachy color I'm using at the moment is also from the Supervision watercolor set. And by the way, you have still time to join the Gratitude Junk Journal Workshop at an early bird price with 20% off using JOY2020 at the checkout. Link is in description. If you're interested in the other Inktober projects I've already made, just check my Instagram page. I have a quick reel video for every spread for each of the last 14 days. And there's something else I want to mention. You might know that we run a monthly challenge in our Rubber Dance Facebook group and we extended this to Instagram. So if you are not active on Facebook and you don't want to join our group, you can play along in this challenge by posting your project um, onto Instagram using a certain hashtag. I will give you more information in the video description and tag us so we can find it and then you will be automatically in the draw for um, the price which is a 10 euro discount for our rubber stamp shop and all you have to do is post a crafty project using at least one of our stamps on it and that is inspired by our mood board and you will always find the mood board in our Instagram feed and I will link this also up in the video description. I'm adding some final details with a smaller brush and the core watercolors because I really love the effect how they bleed into each other. And by the way, the journal I'm using is not a watercolor journal. It's a simple drawing journal from Gastica with a 130 GSM paper. I'm adding some splatters here and I really like the texture I get because some areas are dry and some are wet and that gives me a really nice effect. Here I'm going into the wet area with a ink tense pencil. It's a water soluble ink pencil. These are my favorites um, because they are super highly pigmented. And I just make some marks into the wet paint or the wet areas. Thank you. 
I also make some scribbly marks with the inked hands pencil just to get some texture on my page and you can see that I hold my pencil at the very end to make sure I have a really loose line and not something that is precise. My page is almost completely dry and I want to add some texture to the background with a stamp and this is a little hard stamp from the textured birds and I use a turquoise ink so it matches the color palette. I plan to add some more stamping and here's just a little trick I want to share with you. Um, the clear stamps are always a little bit different compared to rubber stamps and sometimes on solid images the ink, especially when it's a water-based ink, beads up on the stamp and if you rub it with a eraser you get that rubber texture onto the top of your stamp, onto the surface and then it works more like a rubber stamp and it will hold the ink better. So especially when you have solid images or brand new photopolymer stamps, just take an eraser and cover the surface and then it will give you a better stamp impression. Here I'm adding more texture and marks with a Neocolor crayon. I love these because they are opaque and I can go over darker colors and they also give me some interesting texture and a little bit more of variation which makes the piece more interesting. And this is also the fun thing for me when I create art using the different materials and exploring them and playing with them. Um, it's just like, uh, as I am a child and I play with my toys. Here I used a darker green to get a bit more contrast into my work and that also makes it interesting. You will also find a blog post for all my Inktober projects over on my website and there will be a link in the video description as well. I wanted to have a kind of motive on my work. I really like if there is something to explore that's not just abstract and here I'm just drawing some scribbly leaves into the blue squares and I'm using one of the intense pencils I think it's kind of a um, black or gray color I wanted to have more of a bigger focal point on my page, so I went through my stash and searched for something that was already done. And I found this leaf which was stamped with um, distress inks. And um, after I've added the ink to the stamp, I gave it a spritz with border and then I stamped it. And that gave me this lovely effect. And I use peacock feathers and black suit and I think the colors are matching my page very well. Yes and that's my finished spread for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I hope we will see us next time. Bye!